all of us love spring, and of course with spring comes moles and gophers. I'm here with Don Sprague. How are you doing, Don? Good. Great. And you know, this is the cinch trap. This is something that you really believe in for catching moles and gophers. I believe in this baby. This one, this one works. Because you have over here to my left, uh, Don, is a whole basket of stuff that people try to use to get rid of them. Yeah, it's all the stuff we, we've gathered at some of the seminars that we've done, and it's just all the different uh, different little gadgets that people think works, and, and uh, we've just not had any real success with them. Yeah, and occasionally it might, but these are the ones that we know, really, you have to trap them to get them. Yes. And yeah. now, it's, it's confusing to a lot of people, because you see these mounds, you have a beautiful lawn, all of a sudden, pile of dirt. What is it that you would do to, to get ready to set a, uh, a mole trap? Okay, what I would do is primarily I would, like this is, a, this is a mole hill here, a little mound of dirt, and you can tell it because it's a nice little, it's a nice little uh, mound of dirt itself, and the mole just keeps pushing dirt straight up. Uh -huh. So the size of the mound does not really indicate the size of the mole. Okay. It's just an activity level. So, you know, and there's some other mole hills over here, and there's some down here, so let's just pick this one in the center. And I would probably take and remove this dirt away, and then I would probably dig out about a whole 14, 15 inch circle. And then when you go down, you're gonna find a tunnel that's gonna to go to that one over there and probably this one over here. So you'll dig, the, dig this out, clean out those tunnels, and then you'll be putting your trap right there. Now one you, going each direction. You have done some digging already and we're gonna walk over to a place where we've actually pulled the plug out of the ground to see the tunnels and how to set the trap. So why don't we go over there now and take a look sure. at that. Be glad to. Now, Don, this is the plug we were talking about. You've already pulled it out of the ground. Right. Yep. And see it here, right here is where the hole was. Right here, you can kind of see the hole was right here in the center of this plug. And Don, I've always thought that that that, that was them coming up for like air or something, but that's not true, that soil, is it? No, this is, uh, they're pushing the dirt out of their tunnel system so they can get it cleaned up and it has to come above the ground so they'll have a tunnel system. And that's where they find their food at. Earth's little excavators, God bless them. Yes. <laughs> now, now that we, we know all of how they work, how do we set these traps to, uh, to help get rid of them out of our lawns? Okay, after we've taken this plug out of here, then what the best thing to do is I like these little weeder tools, and you can just kind of get down in here and you can clean these tunnel systems out. Uh -huh. and, and then, you know, you like it to go way in there. See, that one's going in that far, and this one's going in that far. Yeah. So you got, a good, you got a good straight tunnel going there in each direction. Then you take your traps, and we suggest you wear gloves just to protect your own hands so you, sure. don't, you don't smack yourself. And the trap is really easy to set, comes with instructions. You just bring that across. It's kind of like a big mouse trap. Oh, it is. Bring that one down like that and push this forward. And then always hold it by the back side. Keep your hand away from here. Because that's where the flipping happens. That's where that flipping <laughs> happens, yes. And so then you've got your little trap all set here. And you just take and you just work it in there. See, and remember the yep. tunnel is nice and clean. And I always like to elevate the back of the trap slightly. Okay. Makes it really easy for them. And that's what that clod of dirt in the middle of yep. the hole is for then. And then just set that right there. And then this other trap here, I've got it set. So just uh, take it and place it into the tunnel system. And always holding it by the back there. Push it on in there. Nice and free. And you're ready Just to go. like that, and, and you're ready to go. And now we play the waiting game. You play the waiting <laughs> game, and tomorrow morning, you'll have him. So, Don, I noticed that you, you cut the whole part of that soil out in one piece and just set it over there. Right. And, and you want to leave, you want to just take and, and then leave everything open because it's very important that you leave the holes open. Okay. And you don't cover this all back up again because the air movement that goes through here circulates around, comes back out through here, and that air movement is what actually draws the mole to the opening where your traps what are. What if I have pets or something I'm concerned with them setting it off? Then I'd put like a piece of cardboard over or a bucket. Uh, we actually even offer grates okay. that you just push down in the ground right over the top. And then when it's all caught and done, you can just put the plug of soil right back in there. Right. Yeah, you take this out of here, take your mole away, pick this up, put it right back in there, tromp it down, and you're done. Perfect. And there, there, there it is, you know, so there's a, a lot of different things that are said about how to do this, but really the, the cinch traps have worked for a long time. You can go to almost any of your independent garden centers and find them. For more information, we invite you to go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you over to Don's website. Thanks so much, Don. Always Great. a pleasure, my friend. You bet.